I don't know about you, but that's, that's, that's plenty. Amen. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. The song is called A Reason to Dance. So let's sing together. That we might become his righteousness. His body was broken for our transgressions. And I'm so glad that's not where the story ends. The lamb that was slain that day rose in victory. has lost its grip on me yeah. hallelujah he's alive hallelujah he's alive hallelujah
shout about we've got so many reasons not just a reason but so many reasons hallelujah hallelujah
What God cannot do does not exist. You believe that? You believe that he's still in the healing business? You believe that he's still in the miracle working business? Come on. Hallelujah. 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 In order for us to believe it, we have to trust that he's going to do it. We have to trust that faith. It's trust. We trust that God is going to change the situation around. We trust that he's able. We trust that he is the all-knowing, all-powerful, and almighty God. We trust in the true and living God. We trust in Yahweh Elohim. We trust in him. When you trust in him, trust and believe. Take your hands off and stand back. Watch your God work for you. Apostle says, see now the manifold wisdom. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, God. Hallelujah. So long, 
so long, so long, so long, come on, so long, so long, so long, so long, goodbye to my sorrow.
is able, he is faithful to complete it. You just have to believe and leave it in his hands. Understand that he's done it before, he can do it again. There's nothing too big for the God that we serve. His hands can stretch down from heaven and pluck you out of obscurity. There's one songwriter that calls him Alak Bada Ina. That means the God of the outstretched arms. His hands work, you know. They work, oh. They work. Believe it. Believe it. Believe that he's faithful. He's faithful to complete what he, once God said it, once he said it, once, I'm going to say it again, once God says it, it shall be done. If he says that family member is coming to him, believe that he's going to come. Believe that she is going to come. If he says that promotion is yours, no matter what the co-worker say, no matter what the people above you say, once he says it, you're too loving to leave me. You're too loving. To What you start, you're always finished, and I've come to realize you're too loving to me. La da da da, la da da da, la da da da. Oh, la da da da. faithful just believe he's faithful just believe he's faithful understand that he's faithful understand the God that you serve understand that he's faithful he's going to complete it he's going to do it he's going to complete it he will complete what he says he's going to do he's going to do it hallelujah hallelujah right where you are thank God for that thing that you've been waiting on whatever it is you don't need to tell anybody that secret thing in your heart that you've been waiting for thank God right now this day thank him for it thank him for it thank him for it thank him say thank you God thank you God Thank you, God, that you've done it. Thank you, God, you've completed the process. Thank you, God. Thank you for the house. Thank you for the car. Thank you for the job. Thank you for food in my cupboard. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for healing. Thank you for breakthrough. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Come on. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Now is your time. Now is the season. Now is the hour. Thank him. Come on, don't get weary in thanking him, you know. Come on, come on, we're thanking God. Now is the time. We thank you. We thank you, Yahweh. We thank you, Yahweh. We thank you, God, for doing it. We thank you, God, for doing it. We thank you, God. As we praise your holy name, 
Again, you deserve. You deserve the glory and the honor. And the honor. Lord, we lift our hands to worship as we praise your name. You deserve the glory. For you. Lift it up for you are great. You do miracles. There is no one else. There is no one else. There is no one, no one, no one. There is no one else. For you are great. You do miracles, oh great. There is no one else. There is no one, no one. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles, oh great. There is no one.
For the Lord God Almighty He reigns Oh, hallelujah forgive us. Lord, forgive us, Lord, for not being as passionate as we ought to, oh Lord God, for not being, Lord, Father, you know, passionate for souls, passionate for your presence, and Lord, Father, we pray, oh God, that today as your people, Lord, as we surrender our hearts back to you, as we give our lives to you, oh God, that, Lord, you would cause us to be a people of passion, a people for, a, for you know, passionate for souls, oh God. A people passionate for you, oh Lord God. A people, dear God, who de are desirous of doing your will, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for loving us. We thank you, oh Lord, Father, for guiding us, Lord. In times when we feel as though we don't know what to do. And Lord, your Holy Spirit comes and says, do this, do that. Lord, we thank you, Holy Spirit, for being with us. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for your provision, Lord. So many times when we look to the left and we look to the right, we think that there is no one, but you said you will never leave us nor forsake us. And we thank you for always, 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 always being there for us. Oh Lord, we thank you. You're the only one constant that we have. The one that we can lean on. The one that we can trust in. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you praise, oh Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we give you praise. Hallelujah, it's God and amazing God. Amen, amen. We just bless his holy name. Hallelujah, because his name is power, his name is light and life. We can call upon the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, be saved. Hallelujah, we give God the glory. So, this morning I want you to turn to somebody and tell them one thing you want to thank God for. One thing you just want to give God thanks for. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 18, in all things, not some things. In all things, we give thanks. Because this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And you know, when we, are, when we develop an attitude of gratitude, God will keep adding and adding and adding to us. You know, years ago, I was a young mother. Nothing, have had nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. That's a book to write. And one day, the Holy Spirit said to me, he said, the more you thank me, the more things 
I will give you to thank me for. I didn't have a car. I, I thank the Holy Ghost. I thank the Lord. And today I have a car. I didn't have a house. I give God the praise. I give him the thanks. And today I have a house. Amen. I did not have a good job. And I thank the Lord for the job that I wanted and I got it. Amen. So the more things we give him thanks for, is the more he will add to our lives. Amen. Amen. So this April is seed time month, right? And last week, some of us would have received this envelope. And some of us had the opportunity to sow our seeds last week. Some took the envelopes away and bought it back this week. And those of you who don't have envelopes, I want you to put up your hand so that the ushers will come quickly and bring the envelope to you. In Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18, it says, And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant, which he swore to his fathers, as it is this day. We shall remember the Lord our God when we sow. So let me tell you, all those things, yes, I thank the Lord when I didn't have and still thank him now that I have. But let me tell you this, it came with sowing also. Obeying the word of the Lord. When the opportunities came to sow, I sowed, right? Sowed, remain faithful in tithing and giving offering. And today, everybody would have received the envelopes. I want to just, I want us to just do a declaration and then I will invite our dear apostle, Eva Chuckness, who is here, this mighty woman of God. Let's want you all to acknowledge her. Hallelujah. So Apostle is going to come after we do the declaration. She's going to come and she will say a prayer over all of us because we are believing what we will declare here. So let's see. Dominion power is on my seed now. I declare that I'm at the top of my field. I'm at the cutting edge of whatever I do. My services are at the highest quality and a great demand. My products are first class and irresistible. My customers or clientele are expanding beyond my wildest dreams. Where there's opportunity for promotion I shall be the first to be promoted. I am blessed. My seed is blessed. And it's bringing forth a bountiful harvest. Amen. So our pastor is going to come and she's going to declare a prayer over all of us. So once we sow, we expect that we are going to reap a bountiful harvest. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's really good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. And remember when you give, you're really giving into the realm of God. Many are giving into a realm that <laughs> is so real. And stuff could come from anywhere, any direction. And I'm thinking of the woman who um, built for the prophet. What she really needed was a child. And so, broaden your mind as you give. Allow God to bless you how he wants to bless you. Amen. Father, today we thank you for this pledge, this promise. And God, today we are giving unto you. And so, Father, we know that you're going to watch over it. You're going to bless it. And you're going to multiply it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. So let's, let's just do one more worship song before, before you take a seat. And I, I'm, I'm just hearing um, 
I have made you too small in my eyes. Oh, Lord, please forgive me. And I have believed in a lie that you were unable to help me. But now, oh Lord, I see my wrong in my heart and show yourself strong.
for worship. There's such an anointing for worship in this house. Si kamas on numo chuan. Tos basuni mi in day yesu shahani. And you're getting your deliverance right as we worship. As we worship, you're getting your deliverance right now. The Lord is not waiting. She hanta masun toronto kushi here. There are angels that are positioned in this room right now. And they are just in our midst. They're moving. They're doing what they have to do behind the scenes. He's taking Tomo Shikwa Tahai. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. Father, we magnify you. We lift you high. Move, move, move. Holy Ghost. Siakama, Shabao, and Teso Konturi. We access the supernatural now in the name of Jesus. We say we have access to the supernatural right now. We step into the realm of God. Iba Shama, Kontena, Maso, Busha, Yaya, Nem, Sunda, Bahinde, Neme, Ko, Oh, Nimes, YouTube, Bobo, Shinta, Yana, Yeshemena. Jesus, Jesus, those of you who could pray tongues, use your prayer language for a little while. I know, I know we have, you know, whatever, but use your prayer language. We want to break through this morning. We want to break out. Isebanta, ya. Wanta kino shememe ye. Rushona monto we senta ba ye. Usko koto se ya ye ne. Tuno ye me 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 di o sheme ye ne ye su. So kote ye wa. Namamando the bose. Mighty warrior, mighty warrior, mighty warrior, mighty warrior. And as to me yata ya kwa. And a brune mi she yi ku. No smo sumo yi tu wa ha. No sha 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 ti ye kwa. Kwa ye nemo bo. So to moon tu we she ye ne ye. So to mo ye we ye ta. Sha sha po she ye ke. No so to mo ye. Thank you, God. Thank you for the angels. Thank you for the angels. The mighty angels that are in this place this morning. So ne kanama ya hahat. Do soronto mo sheke yesa. On do so mo shindi yisu. Shekoto e ye ye na. Ushabo we are ye ye na mama. Thank you for the shout of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 ah, Woshikawa, Shinabaye, Nama, Tunde Rusha, Ham, Rusha, Kinneye, Rusha, Mama, Mature, Shaba, Baba, Woshem, Meye, Teyana, Tunde Nemose. This is a supernatural place. This is a gate of heaven. Out of your belly shall flow rivers. In a sacamtas, I want Tomo Shuba. Shonena Mamma, the Okutu Sayat. Eh, she be the ye. Some of you being filled right now. It's a make it day, eh? Nama Chune me, so who ya? Some of you, a king day, yes, she can do I. You know, in the scripture, when Jesus had to go to Gethsemane, he was in the garden and he was under a lot of pressure because he had something to do that was really, I mean, it would take his life. And the Bible tells us that when he was praying, the angels came in and they strengthened him. Sikata maswa. 
this is a supernatural place this morning. Samantio Sokuturi Shi. And so there's some of you here right now this morning. And you're in, a, you're in a hard place in terms of what you have to do and you need strengthening. Santi Himno Supa. This is a supernatural place. And there are angels that are around you right now. Father, thank you for the angels that are strengthening. The angels that are just next to people, just strengthen them. She keep me me do wahahaina. So be keep knows that they're right next to you, and they're strengthening you. She keep you knows to a side. You to bahi ne me koshe ya. What to him knows ko na boshi ke na basu. The the Lord is bracing you up. You're not going to you're not going to buckle in the midst of this thing. She kid da mama man to the wall, she kid about son to the Lord, she yet about hey. Oh Jesus. Thank you, God. I know that there are angels all around. Switch our eyes, open our eyes, oh God. Sikite ma. Swane kushibu one. You know this little oldie, this little oldie that says, We are standing on a holy ground. This is power. Taruk Mahamye. And I Thank you for the angels, oh God that are here working behind the scenes. They're here, they're, they're strengthening. There's somebody that is being strengthened. represents that dark time, you know, that dark time, hard time, and they were actually in prison. And as they worship, the word tells us that the, the prison doors were open. 
stuff happened because the worship activated the angelic force to move. And so as you're worshiping this morning, I want you to see them moving behind the scenes. I want you to see the angels moving. They're just moving. This, this, this is an awesome place. Jesus, Jesus, we step into a realm. This is not about us gathering here. This is about us accessing a realm. Simanta we sin. Shontobi se wuchakaye. And so God, I thank you for the angels that are moving as we worship, as we praise, as we praise. Late in the midnight hour, God will turn it around. Woo! You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. There is an anointing this morning here for worship. And if we go like a queen, we worship right through. Fred Hammond has a song. Late in the midnight hour, you know, God's, God's gonna, gonna turn, turn around. It's, it's gonna, gonna work in your favor. Know it? Late in the midnight hour, God's, God's gonna, gonna work around. around. It's gonna work in your favor. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. Down every stronghold, sickness and poverty must flee. For the devil is defeated. We are blessed. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. Yeah. 
We have the angels working on, on our behalf this morning. Amen. The angels of the Lord are here. There is an anointing in this place for worship. See, if we go sometimes just with the formula, we might miss. But there's breakthrough when you obey. Yeah? And so... I heard the Lord before I came, you know, that it may be for somebody that's looking online. You know, the scripture says, Who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? He that has clean hands, a pure heart. I hear the Lord saying to somebody, Keep your hands clean. Okay, keep your hands clean. In this season, people are being pressured, and even believers, some of the things you find them turning to. You would wonder, how could you even think about doing something like that? But I hear the Lord saying, keep your hands clean. Even though if you, might, you might find that it's taken too long, keep your hands clean. Amen? Keep your hands clean. And for those of you who may have, may have done something in the past, I declare right now that the blood of Jesus is cleansing it. Whatever, um, whatever you have, may have allowed to enter, that it's broken through the power of the blood of Jesus. Amen. I want to go with you directly into the word. And um, I'm going to give you the scriptures because of time. But today, we look at the life of Jesus. And when he... Before he came, the angel Gabriel, he came and he visited John's father. He visited Elizabeth, he visited them, and he gave him a message and he said, you're going to have a child. Amen? Amen. We see after, and I'm going to give you the scripture, we're not going to read it. The angel Gabriel came again. And he visited Mary. And he said, you're going to have a child. And he told him about Jesus. Told her about Jesus, correct? So it means that within the space of nine months, Gabriel came into the earth realm for purpose. Now he's not a normal angel. He's a ranking angel. And because of that, because of what was um, taking place, he came into the earth realm to bring that message. If you look at the book of Dan, in the book of Daniel, and I'll give you the scriptures, there are times when the angels would come in to bring messages. Right? You see that? Then... At his birth, when he was born, the Bible tells us that the angels visited the shepherds. I'm saying it to you because you know it, all right? They, they visited the shepherds and they spoke to them and they told them, the Bible says, when the angel appeared, the glory of the Lord was all around, that they became fearful. And he said to them, do not be afraid. For I bring you good news, good news for men. So they left. And the word says, when he was born, that they were singing. So the angels were singing. Right after that, we see Jesus. And Jesus is being tempted by the enemy. That's Matthew chapter 4. Okay? The Bible tells us that the Spirit of God led him into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. So the wilderness in that particular, um, in that particular scripture represents an area of satanic stronghold. You know that, right? So it's an area where the enemy has established a place. And so I'm going to ask them to put up Matthew chapter 4 and verse 11. And, and we'll see what it says here. And it says, Then 
the angels of the Lord. Then the devil left, and the angels of the Lord came and ministered unto him. So during that time of temptation, right, during that time when he was um, being tested, the angels came and ministered unto him. So what we see taking place is what was originally a gate of hell became a gate of heaven. Correct? Now Genesis 28 speaks of what is known as a gate of heaven. And a gate of heaven is a location where the angels um, have access into the earth realm. Certain geographical locations are gates of hell. You could tell by what they represent. But this is a gate of heaven. Your home is supposed to be a gate of heaven. Your home, because the angels um, is, are supposed to be able to access they access the earth realm through your home, through your prayers. Following me? And I'm going to pray this this morning. This is why we keep saying this. The enemy does not like believers to acquire property. Because once you acquire property, it means you change the entire spiritual landscape of your community. Because where they, 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 they had access now, the angels can access through your place. And so, Father, today, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those that are believing you for property. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, God, for moving on their behalf, for bringing things to pass. Lord, every paper that is being delayed, I thank you, God, that it's coming to the forefront. And Lord, supernatural resources, thank you for property being transferred, transferred, transferred now, unexpected transfer of property in the name of Jesus. God, those that may be even renting, I declare in the name of Jesus that they are seeing that their home is a gate of heaven. A gate, a gate, a gate. And so the angels, they were there to work for him, and they strengthened him in that situation, all right? When you go a little further down, you would see that just before he had to go to um, the cross and he was in Gethsemane, the word tells us that he was praying so much till it's like um, blood, it was sweating because it was such a, a difficult time for him. And that's when he said, Lord, you know, not my will, but your will be done. The scripture tells us that the angels came and ministered unto him at that point. You all following me? So he goes to the cross. He dies. He's buried. And the scripture tells us in Matthew chapter 28 and verse 1 to 3, it tells us that the, the, the angels came in and there was an earthquake. You can put it up, please. At the end of the, they came to the, to the grave. Next one, please. And there was a great earthquake for the angel of the Lord descending from heaven and came and rolled a stone from the door and sat upon it. And his countenance, and his countenance was like lightning and his radiant was white as snow. So this angel came in at the tomb when he died. They were guarding the tomb when he died. To make sure nobody could access it. And they were the ones that moved the stone away to allow him to be able to come out. Following? Good. So he dies and he rose. All right? 
and let's look at Acts chapter 1 and see what took place there in Acts chapter 1. And it says, the angels came in and they said to him, and why are you looking towards the heaven? Behold, two men stood by them a while. So they were looking up when Jesus left. He spoke to them. He told them, you know, I want you guys to do this. I'm going to be with you always. And, and he left. And so they're standing and they said, two men were there and they're asking them, why are you looking up into the heavens? Right? And they looked steadfastly towards the heaven and two men suddenly came in while they were there. Next verse, please. Next verse. And he said, fear not. No, that's the wrong verse. We'll forget that. We'll read that one after. But the angel said to him, why are you looking up to heaven? This same Jesus that you see leaving, he's going to come again. Right? My question to you is this. Because we're focusing a lot on the darkness. My question to you is this. If the angels were involved in his, in his life from start to finish, what kind of heavenly activity would be taking place now that he's about to return? I'm asking you, think about it. From start, birth, there, moving through, death, resurrection. Jesus is about to return. What kind of angelic activity do you feel would be happening in this day? Is real angelic activity? These guys are busy. They're working behind the scenes. They move in. And so we focus a lot on the satanic forces because they are there and we have to deal with them. But we need to focus on the angels as well and understand how powerful they are. From the time I was asked to minister, it came to my spirit, talk about the angels. Talk about the angels. We say here, when we look, there's, there's, a, there's a, a footage that's taking place on the camera. People are getting to look on through the YouTube. But behind the scenes... There's an actual video footage in this place, if we could only see it. When you're worshiping, and they're behind the scenes, the same way they work with Jesus is the same way they're going to be working with you. From the time you were born, they're there working with you through the scene, through the, right through, right through, right through. They're working with you all the way. These angels are working for you behind the scenes. They're very powerful. I'm going to give you the scripture verses and I'm going to explain it to you. In the book of Revelations, chapter 5, verse 11, the Bible speaks of um, John getting a glimpse into the heavenlies. And he was able to see, the Bible says, when they asked him, about the amount of angels. He said there were 10,000, 10, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of angels. In other words, he couldn't put a figure to the amount of angels that he saw. And so even if there are a lot of satanic forces that are wrong, they do not outnumber the amount of angelic forces that God has working on our behalf. He says there were thousands and thousands, ten times thousands. It's like, it's, it's like he was seen into a big stadium and there were so many of them. Now, over the years, I always looked at the scripture and I saw, and because I was looking for the amount of angels, right? But then I saw where it says, and they said with one voice, blessing and honor, glory and power, or word is the lamb, I can't remember which one. But imagine them saying, I cannot even imagine what the sound would have been like. I mean, if all of us 
with one voice, just say, hallelujah, together, simultaneously, the way that songs, can you imagine the song of thousands, times thousands, and thousands, and thousands, and thousands, and thousands, ah! saying with one voice, whatever it is, blessing and honor, glory and power be unto the Lamb that sits on the throne. Woo! Guys, we have access to this realm, you know. This is not about you coming and singing and, and this, you know. This is access to a realm that is vast and wide. And they're moving and they're working behind the scenes on your behalf. In the book of Daniel, it's Daniel chapter 10 and verse 12. Daniel was praying. And... The angel Gabriel, he came in to speak to him. And what he said to Daniel, he said, Daniel, I am come at your word. I am come at your word. I am come at your word. So when he prayed, because Daniel was a man whose life was marked with prayer. His life was marked with prayer. If they wanted to get him, they knew the only way they could get him is through his prayer life. And because of that, there were angels that were working with him because of the level of his prayer. He wasn't praying for rice and peas and chicken and a bill to pay. No. The man was looking at Israel opening his window every day and praying over Israel. And because of that, he received a, a level of angelic, um, uh, a level of angelic support that wasn't normal because of the level of his prayer. And so they come based on your word. So as you get up and you pray and you declare the word of God, because the Lord says, bless the, bless, bless the Lord, you as angels, that excel in strength and hearken unto the voice of his word. So as you get up and you declare the word of God into the atmosphere, you declare and you pray, the angels begin to move and do what they have to do. One of my favorite accounts of them is um, Exodus 23, 20. I love that one. Exodus 23, 20 is where God says, my angel will go before you and bring you into the place that I have prepared for you. Come on. My angels will go before you and bring you into the place that I have prepared for you. So even before I came here, the angels would have come in to prepare the place before I arrived. Same thing with you. When you get up to pray in the morning, this is not word you're saying, you know, this, is, this is life. And you pray and you say, Lord, thank you for sending your angels before me to dismantle and to destroy every wicked work of the enemy. Come on. Them fellas going before you, before you even arrive to the place and dealing what, with whatever it is that the enemy has, is, is trying to set you up and trap you with. Because they're real, they're here. They're strong. They follow me wherever I go. They follow you wherever you go. They are assigned to us. And because of that, we move without fear. They go before us and prepare the way. The angels also bring gifts to us. Remember, I was sharing with you that the angel came and strengthened them. They also bring gifts to us. When you're weak, they're coming in behind the scenes and they're working and they're doing things for you. 
Do you know how many things they have protected you from that you are not even aware of? If you only are aware of some of the attacks that are going on against your life, you stay in your bed right through. But these guys, they're protecting you from things that you're not even aware of. They are there to minister on your behalf, working behind the scenes. And um, I'll give you guys, I know you heard this testimony already, but I'll give it to you again. Um, My daughter, she was having her second child, okay? So they lived in Maloney. I live Malabar. And the routine was she would bring the, the husband, she would go to work very early in the morning, and her husband would bring the first child for me to look after. Okay? So she is pregnant and she's going to work. They allowed her to come to work early in Port of Spain because of her situation so that she could leave early to avoid the traveling and stuff. She got to work early in the morning. And she said, she started to feel sick. She had to leave. There was nobody there in the work with her except the cleaner. So she was by herself. And she leaving to go. She said, Mommy, I'm going by the hospital. Pray for me. You know, they like to call you for prayer. <laughs> all of them who doing all kind of thing. They know where to find you. Eh? So I did what I can do. And my prayer wasn't no big prayer. My prayer was simply, Lord, my child. You hear me? She said when she walked out to walk to go to the taxi for the hospital, this lady crossed the road and hugged her and said, you want help? Yes. The person goes with her, goes into the taxi, pays the taxi for her to go take her to the hospital when she come out and she go into the wheelchair and the attendant come she turns to tell the lady thanks the lady send right and go on all you can think what all you want to think I don't know what all you feel but they're working behind the scenes she said that some doctor or the other put her on the bed to check wherever it is you know, what they start to check, leave her, and when when they come back, nobody could describe, nobody knows who that doctor was. And you telling me these angels not working? The Bible tells us some of us have entertained angels on our way. They're there behind mobilizing, setting things up. You feel... The steps of a righteous man, they are ordered by the Lord. All of a sudden, oops, you feel to go so? It's not an oops, you feel, it's not an oops. (laughs) They bring us into the place, They, they hear and they work in. On your behalf, one of the prayers I like to pray is, Lord, I activate the realm of God to work on my behalf. Get up and pray. Lord, I activate the realm of God to work. I activate that realm to work for me. So when it's working, behind the scenes, you're seeing all kind of things going on. People coming from Valencia, from here, from there. It, it. Because that realm working. They minister to your needs. That's Hebrews 1 and verse 14. They are here to fight for your protections. Psalm 91 and verse 11. Because we're very fearful. You all hear the kind of things happening now? Mm? You hear the kind of things? Your children, you have to be covering your children. They're leaving to go to school and who missing and who can't find. So you're getting up and you're activating this. 
and know that they are wrong you. They are wrong your home when you're sleeping. They guard in your home. They are wrong your vehicle when you're moving. They guard in your vehicle. They dare, they dare thank God for angelic protection today. And so, Father, thank you for angelic protection around us, the angels of God that are moving and working on our behalf. Where you can't go, they could go. You can't go with your child in school, but they could go. And it's not one. I don't know how much I have working for me, but I'm glad. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! It is said, every level there are new devils. You know they say that, right? It could be deduced, which is true. But for every level there are new angels. When you set up and you get promoted, don't be afraid for the promotion. With that promotion comes the angel to work with you to succeed. The word tells us that when the enemy comes in like a flood, right? The spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against it. So they have two interpretations of that. One is when the enemy comes in, it's like, like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will, right? That's one way some people look at it. But it's also when the enemy comes in like a flood, because at half times, he will flood into you. Come on. There's a war. It's a not to do it. How holy is it? It's a win a war. You can't be too good to be attacked. You're under attack and they attack Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Now I hope my dad's back and say, hey, and who, and who, and, right? No matter. So when the enemy comes in like a flood, there are times when it will be like this, your child, that, this, that, this, one thing after the next. That's when he's coming in like a flood. It says the spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard on your behalf. And so in the ancient times when they were building the walls, they would have and they would be at a distance on the wall because the wall was too long. So what they would do, if a particular area was under attack, what they would do, they would raise the standard as an indication that that part was under attack. And they would also blow the, the shofar or the trumpet. And it, is a, it, it was a signal to the warriors, this is where you need to gather. Let me say that again. If that area was under attack, everybody working. If that area was under attack, when they raised the standard and blow the trumpet, it was a signal to the warriors, gather here. Come on, come on, I'll say it again until it moves from your head to your spirit. If the enemy is coming in like a flood at you today, and the spirit of the Lord raises a standard on your behalf, it is a signal to the warriors, gather here, gather at this point, gather at this point. And it is not just the natural warriors. Because they are the natural warriors, and you are the natural warrior. And so when the spirit of the Lord begins to put somebody on your heart, and raising a standard on their behalf. Respond to it. Respond to the call. Respond to the call in prayer. Respond to the call to supply the person's need. Respond to the call. Because the person is under attack. But it's not just the natural warriors. It is also the spiritual warriors. The, 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 the angelic forces that would gather at that particular point to support the person. And so this morning... You know yourself. If you're here and you're going through a period where it's really like a flood, right now in the name of Jesus, I declare that the Spirit of the Lord is raising up a standard on your behalf. And the angels of God, they're coming in to fight for you. 
I declare angelic reinforcement for you, angelic reinforcement for your household, angelic reinforcement for you now. So it's, it means that more angels would fly in to support you at this particular junction in your life. They're flying in now at this particular junction. After you get over this, ooh, they execute the judgment of God. They are here to execute the judgment of God. So there are some things that God has pronounced and the angels are there to make sure that it is enforced. I hope you guys see it. Eh? I hope when you leave here this morning, you leave here just knowing that God. And so it will bring, bring such a joy to you. They are strategically commanded by the Lord of hosts. They have ranks. The angels have names. They are not to be worshipped. That is important. Do not be praying to any angel, please. Okay? And I say no more. And I keep quiet. Now, I want you to think about it. The only person that could be omnipresent is God. Amen. So if you pray and you call a certain angel name, I call it none. And they say, Lord, send he. And he says, send Toko, say, Lord, send he. And he says, send Venezuela, say, send he. Where the poor fella going? <laughs> he can't be omnipresent. The only person who could be omnipresent is God. Amen. Just pray. God will send who he wants to send. Listen, all of them strong and powerful, you know. Woo! Now, I ain't call no names. I ain't say nobody. I did like Jesus. I spoke in parables. They are not to be worshipped. And you cannot pray to them. You pray. And when you pray, they move. Don't pray. I ain't say nothing. They are assigned to various churches and various regions. Daniel, as I said, Daniel um, had a certain level of angelic um, reinforcement because of the kind of prayer he was praying. So there are angels that are assigned to this ministry. There are angels that are assigned to Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> and, I, oh, and I share this with you all. One of the prayers we like to pray during the carnival season especially is that when people come in into the nation... The men will come, but the spirit that they carry will stay outside of the borders of this country. And what I believe take place is the angel that is guarding this nation. When that plane hit our airspace, and I say no more. When that plane hit our airspace, the angels that guarding this country. Look, stay out. You know why? Because the church soul it cannot come in here forbidden to enter. And so, we had a close up. Yeah? But I pray, God, that um, you understand what is being taught. I know I remember sharing with you all already Genesis 32. You know that one where Jacob saw the Mananahim? The Mananahim was the military base of angels. So besides the angels that are around your home, besides the angels that move with you, there are military angels. And they have set up 
military camps, military bases of angels have been set up around Trinidad and Tobago. So I encourage you all this morning to hold strong in your faith. They dare, they dare, they working, they moving, they going, they doing, they going. God is a champion. Ooh. I thank God that He is also called the captain of the host. Ooh. The mighty warrior. The Lord mighty in battle. I think of what took place with Elijah when he had to leave. You remember what took place when Elijah, when Elijah was leaving? Everybody knew as, as, as they went to a certain town, they would say, hey, you know, they're taking a master, they're taking a master, they're taking a master. So there was a, a sense of knowing. And that's what's happening today. That's why there's the release of the prophetic. That's why God says, I'll pour out my spirit so you will have dreams, visions. So there's a heightening of the prophetic that you will know what's taking place. But they did all of that for a man to leave. What is going to be happening for him to come back in? When Christ is about to come back in. Oh! 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 Listen, they, they're going in. This, this is a season where God is breaking um, strong territorial areas that have been locked up for the gospel. God is locking and breaking it, breaking those things down. And are giving the angels access to go in, to capture and to bring out some of those souls. Some of the things that we see happening in the Middle East, it is an avenue for, for us to be able to enter in, to be able to um, bring them out. Do not be distracted. Please do not be distracted. In a war, the enemy has to do what he has to do. But do not think at all that he is greater than your God and the resources that he has available to you. Some of you, you will be attacked in a particular way. Might be your health or some might be finances, some might be your children, some might be what? This is war. I'm not here to say it will be nice, honky dory, read the word. Read the word. When you read the word, you will read it and you'll see how much attack people were under. Who was put in prison? Who was put in that? We have it nice here. Support one another. Support one another. Hold each other up. Yeah? And we thank God today for that kind of angelic support. So I know that my time is up. But I believe that God did, did stuff during the worship this morning. And that is going to, I want to pray for you. I want to ask you to stand. I want to ask you to stand. Sikuna masaba shunto ushatai. Rode hotobe siku meye. Nanta buni ene meshkutubo sundarabashi. No, they're coming to do that. That's why I have to stop. Yeah. Just, just relax in the presence of God. For a little while, just relax in the presence of God. Father, we give you praise this morning for that blessed assurance in your word that there are more that are for us than they that are against us. We thank you for the angels that are assigned to every individual here today. 
We give you praise for the angels that are assigned to our nations. The angel that is assigned to the roadways, oh God. The angels, oh God, that are positioned around our coastline. The angels that are positioned, oh God, at our airports. Every entry point. We thank you, God. We say today that Jesus Christ is Lord over Trinidad and Tobago, Father God. We thank you for the angels that are escorting us as we leave, God. The angels that would escort us. The angels that are assigned to our schools, oh God. As our children are out, the angels that are assigned. Oh God, we thank you that our nation is in good hands because it's in your hands. And so we give you praise this morning, Father God. Lord, I lift every need here today. You know what the needs of your people are. Now give you praise for providing it, for meeting us at the point of our need. Thank you, God, today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Just lift your hands before the Lord. Just lift your hands and just, just let's receive the peace of God. Father, thank you for your peace. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your joy, your grace, your goodness. Thank you, God, today. And there's somebody in this house, that, you know, the, the Lord is saying you could breathe. You could, you, you could breathe, you could breathe. It's okay for you to breathe now. In other words, it's, it's over. You could breathe, you could breathe. It's, it's, it's finished, you could breathe. I don't know who that's for, but, but you could breathe. I thank God for just... You knowing there's somebody that has um, what we want to call a high-powered job. And God is saying, just know that when you enter your office, um, my angels are there with you. And they're dealing with things. You see, the, somebody is, while they're there, um, stuff happening there that you are not aware of. Even though they go to do what they have to do, my angels are assigned to you and they're going to protect you. So I hear Lord saying, don't, don't be afraid of their faces. Don't be afraid of, of what they're going to do. There's somebody even with your, um, your neighbor or, or, or somebody that's close to you. The Lord saying, don't worry about it. My angels are around you to keep you safe, to protect you. And we give God thanks today for just that release. I declare angels bringing gifts. Just all kind of gifts, God. All kind of gifts. Gifts, 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 gifts. Gifts, God, coming into our hands. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah! Woo! from angels. How are we feeling today? Do we have any visitors in the house today? Are we celebrating any birthdays, any anniversaries this week? We have birthday. Happy birthday. And we also have Auntie Pam celebrating her birthday today. Happy birthday, Auntie Pam. Happy birthday, Mommy. Birthday, Mommy. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for the celebration of life. We thank you that even as you continue to outpour upon them, oh God, you are going to allow your angels to continue to encamp about them and keep them in perfect peace. Amen. You may have your seats. 
A gentle reminder that deliverance service continues every Wednesday at 10 a.m. We also have Bible study on Wednesday at 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. online. So you can check out our social media platform for the Bible study links. Encounter Hour continues this evening. It's an hour every evening at 6 p.m. You can get the links via WhatsApp or you can register at www.defmi.tv slash encounter hour for the link. Our Friday night deliverance service continues online every Friday at 7 p.m. So make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe on YouTube, you share the page with your friends and family. Amen? Amen. Triumphant Women Ministry has convention on Saturday the 25th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And the theme is unwrapping the gift. The cost is... Three one hundred and fifty dollars, and the down payment is seventy-five dollars. So be sure to check our triumphant women after service so that you can register. Also, triumphant women has the monthly meeting on Saturday, April the twentieth, from three thirty to five thirty p.m. So you want to learn the secrets? Of, ooh, you want to learn the secret to a successful relationship? This month's theme is Let's Talk Relationships. Zakar and Nakiva. It's yeah. in spice. Yeah, does he know? Yeah, see, it's Zakar. Mm. You don't have it. Thank you. Uh, uh, somebody did their homework. You all are the realists. Put your hands Roger, together. Roger, you're the realists. <laughs> Put your hands together for the men. They did their homework. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> but I need one more because we have a Zakar man announcement. So, Zakar, let me hear you. Sorry. Oh, Give so them one, one more try One more try. One more for the road. <laughs> so, next week, Sunday, some men Please come practice. on this side too, right? It's okay, so we have Zachar Man's breakfast and straight talk on Saturday at, or oh, that's the 20th, right? Right here at Divine Encounter. It begins at 9 a.m. and tickets are available in advance, so you can check out the Zakar men downstairs. We also would like to take the time to celebrate our Apostle Vernon Duncan, who would have been selected for the Caribbean edition of the prestigious annual Predecessors Award, and he would have gotten his award in Bahamas over the weekend. So let's just celebrate our Apostle. And we know they're looking at the service now, so we know that he's student, Apostle. Hi. We love you, we celebrate you. All right, our Kingdom Bell Supermarket, please remember to visit is our supermarket Mondays to Fridays, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sundays, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Remember, you can renew or purchase your discount cards right after service downstairs. A message for Annette Gardner, please see a representative downstairs at the office door. That is the office that is next to the, we call that a fence, a gate? The gated area, you'd meet a representative downstairs. I repeat, Annette Gardner. If you can meet a representative downstairs, we thank you. Let's get ready for our morning's tithes and offering. Remember to follow the instructions of the ushers, and if you've already received one of the seed time uh, envelopes, you can give those envelopes in our Sunday morning baskets, offering baskets. We also be taking up our Kingdom Wealth Supermarket offering. If you need an off if you need an envelope, you can raise your hand and the ushers will come to you. And while you dig deep for your seed this morning, we continue to remind you to visit our book table downstairs where you can get 30% off of all of Apostles' books for the month of April. And once you have your tide and your offering, you can stand. We also want to encourage you not to leave after sowing your seed. Ensure that we end the service together as a church and as a congregation. Amen. Amen. Let's stretch forth our hands. Lord, we thank you for the ability to sow into your kingdom. 
Father, we pray that with this offering, we shall experience new things. We shall see and experience miracles in our lives. Father God, we pray that new ideas will be birthed in this kingdom and in our lives. Father God, we thank you that this seed will multiply and, and bless all those around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. thousand souls, one thousand fold increase, one thousand fold returns, and one thousand fold blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, and everybody say, Amen. Remember divine encounter, we are encountering God continuously to encounter our fellow men with the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ and as you leave, tell somebody you love them. We want to invite those that have the baby dedication up. Yes, we want to invite you up. And on congregation, as you leave, we...